Yo, what's going on with um, YSL? They doing jury sale or what they doing, T? Yeah, they still doing the jury selection, but they got so much going on in the midst of doing jury selection. It's crazy. He's the That's goddamn right. prosecution lady <clears throat> used to be uh, Mondo goddamn lawyer. So she didn't charge that nigga while he ran around time. He goddamn found out why it's here. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason he didn't get charged. Because the prosecutor used to be his lawyer. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been a uh, conflict. Off top. She, they would have, would she have charged him? She would have to been pulled off the case. But is that still a conflict, though, Wack? Cause not if know, she didn't charge him. It makes That's sense now. If he'd have named it, if she'd have named that nigga an indictment, they'd have to pull her off the case. And her claim to fame is she want the she want the conviction of the case. Damn. Because you got to remember, if look when you are dealing with it as a defense attorney, right? Like when you sitting down, you you tell your defense attorney shit, right? So automatically, all he had to do is be like, "Man, I didn't told this shit. I didn't know what it was, so we could fight it on the defense side, right?" Now she can't prove that the things Mondo then told her, right, ain't swaying her to convict him on some other shit. She wouldn't be able to prove that. So they they were gonna tell her that's a, a conflict of interest. You gonna have to step down off the case. Another DA gonna have to prosecute. Man. And nigga, her claim to fame on this is she was a prosecutor. So that's why she went around him. So, so you agree that she using the shit that he did to her in this case? Nah. Though? Well, I don't know. She could be, or she might not be. She could be, or she might not be. But if she would have charged him, right, that's what they'd have put on the table that made her step down. You know what I'm saying? She could be. Like, she could be. Nigga using some shit he might have said. Could be. Nigga, the nigga might be. He was never named in the indictment? No. Nope. Not at all. Not no way. Yeah, so. Could it be the simple fact that she's just familiar with the YSL with dealing with him? She now nah, know now that she's in the, nah, in a uh, uh, prosecutor. She now knows like they really a gang. We can get them niggas. Nah, well it ain't just based on him. It's based on all kind of other shit. But I will tell you this though: the fact that that's known. I remember I told you this, T. One little thing like this, T, right here. Yeah. If that defense attorney on on Thug's side could prove that any information she been using come from that dude and she didn't lay that on the table, and yeah. shit like that, that'll blow this case all the way out the water yeah. and nigga walk right out that courtroom. That's exactly what I was just talking I about. He got it a winner. Right out that courtroom because, see, not only is he not named on the on the uh, on the other side of being arrested, he ain't even named on the other side of it as being, you know, one of the CIs. He ain't named nowhere. So if it come out that this woman then secretly got information or used the information she got from one of her clients, man, right, nigga, like that. That'll fuck everything up. The whole thing up. That's what you call a technicality. <laughs> now, that technicality. one little technicality that will her whole stuff, bro. Yeah. 